So again, welcome. Um, this is a first initiative. So with the WordCamp Connect uh, that we have uh, planned for this year's edition of WordCamp Europe, um, we thought about like, because this is a more of a community initiative. So in the previous years, when we started WP Connect, when we started WordCamp Connect, um, the idea is that it's an ever-evolving um, initiative of introducing participation with the community. And this year, we have a very good um, initiative that was planned. Unfortunately, she was not here, the original um, um, lady that, um, that planned about this session is um, coming from a very personal perspective in which when she started attending uh, word camps, um, she was looking for a space into which where to um, have or share her feedback, not only like in her personal website or her personal like uh, socials, but more of like communicating, communicating it directly to the organizers, especially with the community team. And that's why we have made it a point not only to have all of those topics that probably some of you have attended to within the WordCamp uh, Connect tracks, um, but also to include uh, this specific interactive session into which we welcome the, um, the feedback and insights that you have as a first time attendees. But also I would say that in this session, I mean, I, I probably, uh, we probably have um, people who are already attending WordCamps either locally or have attended WordCamp Europe. Um, and I would like to start uh, by asking, because um, I have your set of questions about uh, your personal experience. And I would want definitely volunteers because I would not be asking myself for this. So anyone, um, I would start with the question and then feel free to you know, share, uh, share with us um, the uh, insights and the feedback that you have. So the first question that we have is, did you feel welcome? I mean, it wasn't like welcome, welcome. It was registration, but I asked someone a question. You know, do I have to register for this or that? And and they answered the question, so I wasn't. I didn't feel excluded. Um, but then I would, that wouldn't want anything more. I don't think. I mean, you know. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Thank you. Now, um, there's only going to be five questions, and the rest would be. Um, more of like hearing the feedback uh, from you. And then we will carry this over. The, the, the process in which we will be taking this is that we, um, we take note of what you are uh, sharing with us firsthand. And then uh, for the next um, leaders and for the next organizers, we will pass it over so that we can continuously improve the experience for newcomers. Because I have been in the same situation, and I agree with the, with the experience that we have currently for new, new um, attendees is not the, the optimal. So, and thank you for sharing your, um, your experience. Um, another question we have is with, what was one memorable experience for you at WordCamp Europe for this year? to answer? I think there could be a lot. To uh, yeah, I think for me it's just opportunity to meet with some of the providers of services that um, I have been working with over the years. So just to meet people in person that you connect with. And I think it's also been great to meet um, just on tables, having lunch, chatting to people to, to make connections. I think for me, if there was an improvement, it would be more opportunity to connect with people doing similar things, you know. So um, it's kind of happened at random when you kind of share the table uh, when there's an empty space, but more of that would be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because um, I'm slightly socially anxious, right? So I won't talk to someone. I won't go up to an, a table with people on it and join into that conversation. So... Uh, I need a little bit more of a sort of this, you're right. And it, actually, this is the first connect I've been to because I, I didn't even, don't even know what what it means, you know, because it's my first word camp, um, and that I would have liked to get more opportunity to. There are some people that I've known on the internet, and I sought them out and I talked to them, and that was great. But random people, sorry, I don't want to call you random, but random people. 
Yeah. I haven't had that, you know, that chat to understand who they are, what they do, you know, etc. So that's that sort of everyone talks about meeting old friends and it's a great experience. And yeah, I feel slightly outside that that parameter. Do you agree? Disagree? I agree. Go yeah, agree. I agree. I agree with both of them uh, in terms of the connection. Uh, if it can be facilitated somehow, uh, I did like having the sponsors um, um, that I could meet, uh, the ones that I normally work, uh, the products that I normally work with. Uh, that's something that maybe can be uh, increased. Uh, maybe having even some smaller sponsor uh, uh, boots. I don't know. I don't know how, but somehow uh, have a, a package where I can attract even more more sponsors. You can be even more helpful in that way. Um, one thing I thought was gonna be here. It's not. I don't think that is a major thing. But I s saw on a world another world camp I went to. Uh, just having a um, a list of. Uh, contacts where people can uh, put what they do if they're looking for to hire or looking for hiring that's something that um, that could be a nice uh, John even though it's not that major and that's it can, can I also just go back to your first question about welcome I'm, I'm just remembering because my brain works that way um, and I, I joined contributor day for the so it was my first word camp and first contributor day I was bewildered for 10 or 15 minutes no I didn't really uh, once the introduction happened and everything else then it, it came into place but that feel feeling of bewilderment and being slightly social anxious anxious I had to force myself for just not leaving you know because so you asked about welcoming and I just it just a lot of people in, in world Pest world know each other very well and that can create some feeling of exclusion. Definitely, I hear you, and I can totally relate because uh, obviously, not all personalities will be the same. And entering to like big spaces, also like a lot of people, yeah, especially if you're not used to it, it's very difficult. But I agree. Um, and um, one thing that um, I was actually thinking when when you were like sharing your. Um, your experiences just now is for sure you were able to uh, exchange information with, with with someone right and that came across like on your own initiative so I hear it as something that we can improve for the next time that maybe make it easier uh, to have that exchange um, more um, of how to say this uh, more um, easy between you know um, even if it's a newcomer Sure. Uh, we, we can do something like uh, uh, f flash meetings. It's, it's, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, I, I, no, it could be on the on the tables outside. You know, uh, each one has I don't know, a minute, a minute and a half to introduce. You know, and then people go rotating. And. Uh, yeah, and had another idea for the contributor day, for example, at the registration desk, they could ask, ah, is it your first time I knew here? And uh, you can go into the venue, sit, just sit down at the table, it doesn't matter where, and then you get introduced. So the people know what's happening and not like randomly walking in and like, what is happening? Like, there was like 20 minutes, nothing happening, right? And they're kind of lost. I can understand that. And maybe if they asked, if they knew, they could give a little introduction at the registration, right? Yeah. Sorry, I'm just saying that, you know, there's a lot of volunteers standing around at that point in the first point, and it was almost like if you're first time, the volunteer should be your personal guide for, for a little while until you say, I've fed up with you. Yeah, I think yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah, I was just coming back to your point about meeting old friends. Like, the idea should be that the next WordCamp. It feels more like that um, and so the way to to get there is to facilitate those initial conversations so that it will be a, a face and a name that you remember from the last one 
Um, but I, yeah, I think if it's that's left to random chance meeting at tables, that's diminished. Like the opportunity for that is quite small, especially if you're not an extrovert. You know, I'm not an extrovert, so. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is that now, they'll the next World Camp, there'll be at least a few of them. Going, yeah, hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because that's been facilitated, right, by this session. But it's, it's, I, I don't think you ca captured everyone who's on a first World Camp. I don't know. I mean. Really? How many, how many others are there who, who didn't even get to this session because they didn't know what it was? Yeah, and I, I do agree because um, maybe um, for the next time it would be, this kind of session would be before uh, the, um, and well, not going to be asking how was your experience because if we're going to be putting it like in, in, in the first sessions, we will be changing a bit the format. For example, maybe in the WordCamp, uh, connect next year we we could introduce like a welcome session for the newcomers and also uh, taking in those ideas that you have that was really good with the registration desk because that's where it all, where, it all, where it all starts i mean people can have different ways of you know communicating and you just have to find the one that works for everyone without you know pushing so hard like uh, social connections because again we all have different ways of um being ourselves and again thank you really really insightful um i have here is, is there anyone from sponsors team here no no i'll talk to them right now just kidding um i'll talk to them later but um did anyone of you attended the contributor day yeah so i have question here and um, maybe you could also share uh, your experience with um, the contributor day as a newcomer I mean every year just to give an insight on what is happening when it comes to organizing um, word camp Europe um, every year so we are the team for this year the community team for this year what happens another set of um, team will be created for next year. That is going to be under the community team. And we will be passing over all of the learnings and the feedback uh, that we have for the current year if we are not, for say for example, I will not be applying for next year to organize. And that means that it is up to us and it is our responsibility to have all those insights, to bring in all those information for the next team that will be forming the next host, uh, the next WordCamp Europe in 2025. So, for the Contributor Day, um, I would just want to ask, uh, like, um, how did it go for you? And again, as a newcomer um, and your first time in WordCamp Europe, um, what would be, I think, the something that you would be sharing as a feedback? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Contributor Day. The the first thing is. Um, I've actually been contributing to uh, WordPress through the support team mainly uh, for five or six years, and, but I've never been to a WordCamp. Um, when I arrived on Contributor Day, it was a bit of mayhem. There's lots of people standing around. Lots of people know each other. I didn't really know face-to-face -face any. I knew the names of the support team and whatever. And I knew also that perhaps I didn't want to sit on the support table. I wanted to do something new. Uh, but it was all, I was sort of milling around. And I had to self-orientate myself around the whole of Contributor Day. I walk around all the tables and all the rest of it. Later on, there was a presentation where they actually went through that. But at the beginning... I didn't even know there was going to be a presentation, so I was I had to self-manage myself because I had no idea what was going to go on. When the, the Contributor Day started, I decided I was going to try working with the accessibility team, and and I did, and I joined the accessibility team, and I will continue working with the accessibility team, and 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 it, it's very relevant to what I do. But it was very weird. We were sitting at tables with laptops and people communicating by Slack to each other around the table. Um, people weren't talking as such. We literally were given little tasks and projects to do and we were contributing on via Slack. It was, it was weird. It was like contributing online but sitting around in a table. And I had, I didn't have a problem with that, but 
I just had no idea of how it was going to operate or, or what was actually going to go on. And yes, it was valuable. Um, and the, the initial introduction when it came on was educational because that's where I decided to go into the accessibility team. And the wrap up at the end as to what everyone achieved was interesting, but it was just uh, bewildering at first. And I can imagine that someone who's never contributed to WordPress and didn't expect that could be very bewildered. Yeah, um, I would like to add that yeah, I had uh, participated in many contributor days and it really depends on the project lead at the table, how well uh, it goes. Um, for example, we had one time we had a lots of discussions and we lost in dis uh, discussions and didn't really the original goal wasn't reached because of that. Um, but this year I was in the design team and the uh, project lead did a really well job and bought everything on and helped everybody and we actually talked and discussed but also worked on our own. So it, it was a good balance. So it's really depending on the project lead um, how the experience is at a contributor day. Thank you. Um, so this is more of a general question uh, for everyone, uh, for those who attend. I see some newcomers. Uh, you're also here uh, for the uh, WordCamp Connect session. It's your first time? Second, OK. Yeah, but definitely uh, you're, you're most welcome. Uh, just reminding, this is the um, this, uh, WordCamp session for um, sharing feedback for the experience, uh, mostly for new um, new um, comers in WordCamp Europe. But of course, if, uh, if ever you have a feedback, like for example, with your experience, feel free to share it with us, because what we're doing is to gather directly uh, instead of, you know, um, we're, there's going to be a form, I think, uh, after um, WordCamp uh, Europe that will be sent through email. But the thing is, like, only few people, maybe not most people with the 2,000 plus attendees will be filling out that form. But it's quite a long questionnaire. So having this kind of session is a bit different. It's, it's like reaching out to, uh, if not all, but like hearing directly the feedback from those who attended and f especially those who uh, are attending first time. But proceeding with, uh, with our session, um, I have here a question that applies for everyone. And maybe if anyone would like to, um, to have, uh, to share the experience, this is about the sponsors that we have. And I mean, WordCamps will not be uh, possible uh, without our sponsors. So with your experience, um, have you spoken to uh, any sponsors whose product you use? And are there any sponsors that you've met that you plan to use one of their products? This is a general question. So anyone, feel free to raise their hands, share their uh, experience. Well, the answer is yes, I have spoken to a number of suppliers and certain products that we use um, and some new ones that I probably will intend to use. Uh, I think, so that's been that's been good. I've enjoyed that. I think, mm -hmm. Stefan, your idea of maybe having a smaller sponsorship for, the, for smaller suppliers would be great, like to get more people involved in that opportunity to connect. Um, but yeah, no, I've... I've met some new ones and I've spoke to some ones that we would use. For me, it's not directly um, about buying or purchasing um, services, but um, I work in the UX and design field and going around and like, for example, uh, I think WooCommerce uh, booth, they had user testing, they showed new feature or new flow. Uh, I participated and looked at it. And for me, it's very interesting to get the experience and also see what others are doing, not with the intent to buying it, but just to see what's going on, what are the trends and stuff like that. That's really interesting for me, going around the um, sponsor booths. Uh, yeah, I, I made a point of, of going around a lot of the sponsor groups, some that I know pretty well, like Gravity Forms, but just to s say hello. Um, and also, um, I forged a an alliance with at least one sponsor for, for my own product, so that was a success as far as I'm concerned. Anyone else? What about you, madam? <laughs> so, okay. 
sorry. Oh, okay. So um, thank you uh, for sharing that. Um, I have here four more sets of questions um, that I would like to, uh, you know, uh, pick your feedback or insights with. And this is more of the tracks uh, that you have, uh, or if you have any, if you have attended any, any tracks and what, did you, uh, what do you think uh, should be introduced? It could be um, if you like any tracks that you, that you have seen or any feedback that uh, you have for the tracks that we have for this year. So anyone? The, the speaker tracks, yeah, the main tracks that we have. Um, we have attended to, I don't know, most of them, I think. Uh, I, I feel this year there are, um, I don't remember, the, la the last time I was in, in work camp was in Berlin, that was five years ago. I don't remember that we had the 10 minute talks back then. To be honest, I don't think 10 minutes are enough for, for, for a really develop um, any type of subject. So a couple of them, um, the, the the people who were in, uh, presenting the, the the subjects were really really good, and you kind of want to continue with it, but it was only a ten minute one, um, and there were some other ones that didn't have enough time to even start developing what they were presenting. So ten minutes is really not something worth going to. I would say the forty five minutes one, it's enough time I think, but ten minutes I, I would say it's, it, it kind of feels like a filler, more than anything else, and it kind of brings down the the mood where you're going learning from one to one and then you stop at one that it's you didn't even have the time to to do anything like that but here's the thing for example i I, I would like to follow up, but I only have a certain amount of ideas in my head. But there's other people that can also ask different questions that I wouldn't have to think of. So that's why I think it's more important to have them in a longer period of time. Even though you can interact with the presenters later, other people can also bring other um, ideas into your head and, and questions. So much can be done. Sure, sure, sure. Following what you were saying, is like if you try to present an idea in 10 minutes, like lo lots of things get lost. And sometimes I just came from, from the other room and he was trying to rush it up and he couldn't even finish the sense. He was like nervous just checking the time to, to finish in, in that period of time. And so he could try and make a joke or, you know, uh, continue on. And you wouldn't even have time for Q&A at the end because it was 15 minutes but then we got these 15 minutes break that we could give it into the talk why is it 15 minutes break each time like you got like three talks of 10 minutes i think and then you got a huge break because the rooms are really far apart so we have to walk to, i understand that but like when i'm looking forward to listening to someone speak about a subject and i go there and I said, it's, it's already like it's five minutes already half gone and then at the end it's it's too quick i feel it's too quick and we having too many breaks throughout the day is cutting off cutting off uh, from the presentations hello Yeah, definitely. Um, in all honesty, like uh, with me organizing this year, I haven't had the chance to go uh, with a lot of uh, speaking tracks, but um, I I can agree uh, with what uh, your experience was because last year in Athens, uh, there was a lot of like topics that interest me most, and I wanted to really ask questions. But then uh, again, I'm, I need to either run to another topic because the topic was so short, and I truly understand what uh, what you have shared, so um, I already have it here. So <laughs> thank you. Yep. Yeah. 
So, and do you count workshops as a track? Because I, I didn't okay. attend any of the short ones, but I attended two workshops. Both were too short. Mm -hmm. They were both too short. The 45 minutes for a workshop is not long enough. To, uh, we were literally doing exercises before we could finish even typing the URL in the in in the laptop. Uh, they had to move on to the to the next exercise. It needs an hour for the workshops. Forty five minutes. I think maybe for short talks, twenty five minutes would work. But, um, you know, but you, I don't think you need a full forty five minutes for for uh, some subjects. But workshops too short too. Uh, or maybe the the workshop leads needs to think what can they squeeze into the forty five minutes and not to put too much content in it. Um, yeah. That's another it's approach. Same, it's but the same uh, issue then. You, you yeah, yeah. The, 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 the content is valuable, and you and you want to cover a decent amount of content. And yes, sure, the leads maybe could cut the content down, but every single both of the workshops weren't every single thing in that was valuable. So. Thank you. Hello. Yeah. So um, for for that uh, for that feedback, um, what uh, what we are going to propose is obviously the the ones that you have um, shared right now. But I wanted to also pick uh, some of the insights aside from the tracks that we have. Uh, were there any topics? Uh, because every year, um, all of the tracks are going to be um, expected to be more relevant with uh, the trends that is happening in the WordPress space or even with uh, in the technology space and it could be in different um, industries. But I would like to know if there are any um, feedback with regards to the selection of the main topics uh, for this year. Anyone? You feel that uh, you have had a good selection of topics that you're interested with or did you have uh, did you wish to have topics that you you would have wanted to see or to know in the WordCamp, or did you uh, wanted to have like any workshop even uh, that you would like to learn in the in a WordCamp? Um, well, uh, we work mainly with with WooCommerce. There wasn't, I don't think there was any sessions on e-commerce. Was there? There was. Okay, yes. Well, I would have liked more on the e-commerce side, essentially. So. <laughs> I'd like less, but I'd also like a, a time machine because I couldn't get to everything that I wanted to do. As I said, I didn't go to any of the speed talks because I was doing other things, either dealing, talking to sponsors or other contacts or dealing with workshops or whatever. So I, I want a time machine so that I can go back and see some of the other ones, please. Thank you. And what I saw that, for example, uh, yesterday, there were many, many design topics only in the afternoon. And, and if you, and for me, for example, I had my volunteer shift. So I was interested to going to them, but they are all at the same time or in the afternoon. So just when, when you have a certain tep topic like design, spread them out all over the two days. And then when you have a shift, you don't miss every de good design uh, talk, so to speak. That would be an idea. Uh, yeah, I could I could see them on WordPress.tv afterwards, but yeah, yeah. I think the workshops are not all of them are recorded. Yeah, not all workshops They're, are yeah. recorded. So that would be um, I think uh, for for all the um, either workshops or tracks, it would help to have a way into which we can um, have it a bit available afterwards. As not only with the main tracks, because what is happening is that most of the main tracks are recorded, even for, for example, for this one, um, we can indicate if it's going to be recorded or not. So I think the best way that we can do that is like for the next time, we can have all of the tracks uh, try to be recorded and maybe for workshops, but we will need to look into that uh, for the workshops. But for the tracks, I would agree that uh, that is something that we can really push uh, for the next um, sorry, for the next one. Sorry. Yes, so uh, I just wanted to say that um, the way I saw it, most of the tracks were very technical oriented, which mm. I love because I'm a developer, but it would be also maybe a good um, thing to 
take into consideration subjects around WordPress, like web design, project management, and um, uh, subjects like this. Thank you. Yeah. There was a project management one, um, but it was yeah, a 10 minute one. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not a developer, and I, I'm a project manager and the for the manager, so I was like, a, a 10 minute <laughs> yeah. thing and yeah he barely was able to start it and that's why we came here um and and adding into right when we came in um you were saying something about the a lot of people or most people didn't don't even know what this specific one is for or, or was about mm -hmm. and i was just going to mention um the website on your laptop yep. kind of works fine but on your phone it really doesn't and it, that doesn't really make sense if we're coming to a WordPress conference and mm. to have that, that it, it, it doesn't give you information or it, it's not US responsive or like all of those things. Um, it's kind of yeah. iffy. I wanted to um, to have more context when, it when you mentioned the the website doesn't work best uh, with uh, with mobile. So yeah. Yeah, is, um, um, for is example, it some, mm -hmm. if, you, if you look at it like this, it like you have to and yep, and there was a it. really good um uh white space uh track i had too much but it was a 10 minute one and that was so interesting and mm. i was just going to ask her or put use your site as, as an example of what the too much white space is but if you you go like this you have to um make it smaller so that it, okay. it is responsive yeah and not all of them have information on, like for example, this one doesn't have information on what it this track is about. So we, mm -hmm. I was interested in in this one because I thought it was more about building a community or how you can like communicate with the rest of them. Yeah. But that's not really what this one is about. Mm -hmm. So well, that's what we ended up. You know, in a, in a way, it is actually. Um, I you probably arrived like um, like half of the not really half like um you. Because I was uh, introducing it, like why this was born. This is actually the first time that we are introducing this type of interactive session on a WordCamp Connect. So before, previously, just to give a, a bit of a background, WordCamp Connect um, has evolved from WP Connect. I remember clearly the from Porto. I was just an attendee back then, and the idea of WP Cafe. It was WP Cafe before. What happened? So the feedback that we received, that they received from that year, since it was named WP Cafe, and there's literally a coffee machine. People go there just for coffee. But no, that, that was uh, intended to be a networking space for the community, for all the attendees. So we tried to, um, to change the name into a more um, engaging one, which is w WP Connect for last year. It was good. We have reformatted um, the session into which um, I introduced, when I was introducing earlier, the idea of WordCamp Connect uh, that we have uh, tried to evolve in the last two years is about making, um, either talking about topics that is concerning the WordPress community and opening it into an evolving session in which Everyone is open to participate, give feedback, and especially address the issues that is uh, the, the current issues and also the future issues that we are uh, having uh, with the WordPress community. Yeah. Who raised their hand first? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I was just going to explain. Sure, sure, sure. I'm, I'm a designer. Yep. And I lost, like, I arrived late to many places because mm. I'm like looking up and down mm -hmm. and I, I cannot see which day I'm in on. So oh, you, okay. when you're looking at the calendar, I can't quite understand where's the title, which uh, track I'm supposed to go to and mm. what day is it. Just right, right now I had a friend come to this place thinking it was yesterday. Like he was looking for the talk that was yesterday and he came here. Because you're going yeah. up and down, and you cannot see what day are you in. So you're mm. thinking, oh, it, it's half past three, isn't it? No, that's half past three yesterday. Okay. Yeah. So that's the misunderstanding. So just this morning, like yesterday, the whole day, I'm like going up and down, scrolling. I'm sorry. Scrolling up and down. And then this morning, I understood that if I, s you know, turn the, the, the Make mobile it portrait. phone, yeah. I, could, 
I could now uh, sorry, understand horizontal, where's yeah. the title, where's the timetable, and which track I'm supposed to go to. But it's uh, not clear. Yeah. So everybody uses the phone this way, and mm -hmm. we're supposed to... Well, we are designers and developers, and uh, we were mm. supposed, like, when I look at a screen, like, when you have... In the beginning, we were designing on, uh, you know, compute just for computers. We didn't have uh, iPhones in our hands. Yeah. And you would say, I want to see, like, the most important information without scrolling. Exactly. So the most important information, the day, the place, and the time, mm. right? And it's not here in the screen. Thank so you. really long walk if you go to the wrong place um the other thing is i've got a memory like a goldfish so it let's scroll down i look at that i can't remember that it would be really really nice to just like be able to add things that i'm interested to say to my google calendar by just doing a click you know um it's simple technology we do it all the time well if it has like, it is yeah, okay, that's great UX because I never found it. <laughs> um, is it? Well, it, yeah, no, but it's not. It, it, oh, yeah, it's clear. I thought that was. I, th I thought that. I, I thought that was some. I, I, I thought. I thought the style. Was, style meant it was some sort of special talk or something. I mean, like, what's style mean? It's compulsory. Um, okay, that that was one point. Um, the sorry about the re the the thing. There was another point. I've lost it now. But yeah, but uh, okay, usability of the website. Okay, speaking about the um, topics on uh, the presentations, um, I also applied as a speaker this year with a topic that was more related on how to extend WordPress with other technologies literally open source. I know that was a hype with React Native and Gutenberg, yeah, back, at the, back in the years. But um, I was focusing more on new open source technologies and how to integrate them with WordPress, for example, to obtain native apps, where I, I see that there is a request on the market with backend for WooCommerce, especially to have a native app on Android iOS. So it got refused. Uh, but I think it is a it is a good talk, uh, at least small talk, for those that are interested on how to actually extend your palette of technologies with WordPress, because that is the reason that the REST API is, is there, like to use it not headless with other technologies as well. So I never saw that into the uh, this work camp schedule, and I would like to encourage that for the future. Yeah. So I was. Um before the, the the just to share the experience with the with the planning that we were doing with um, this WordCamp Connect, so we were given we we were trying to squeeze in all the topics aside from the the speaker topics. They have a they are a different team, but for the community team for the WordCamp Connect, um, what we were imagining and uh, we wanted to include a space into which not only an interactive session but more of like. Um, to give space, because we only have two tracks for WordCamp Connect um, per day. And uh, for the second day, which is today, the last day, uh, we have three. And that's the maximum that we can provide. But in between, nobody's using uh, WordCamp Connect. So what we have thought probably for next year is to open up like that space that without no one, uh, when no one is not using it, maybe, um, to have um, maybe um, if you wanted to give a talk, for example, and you can run it for free, then you can book um, those free times, and then you can um, you can have your talk, uh, even if you're not selected, or if you are selected, it could be that flexible. So, again, the WordCamp Connect, uh, the idea is like every year it keeps on evolving, and it keeps on hearing the issues that we have right now, because if we don't uh, try to acknowledge it, then definitely we will just be talking to ourselves right now and uh, we will see the same um, issues or experiences that we have. So, thank you. Yeah, okay, like small meetups in a yeah. work camp. Exactly. Yeah, I think it's perfect. 
I just remembered the, the other poem, which is pretty much exactly that. As we arrived, I, I came with a colleague who had been to a previous word camp, but a different, you know, just just social colleague. And the first thing he did, he, he went, let's let's go to Word, uh, Word uh, WC Connect area because that's where we can network with people. And it was an empty area with a television screen and a, and a set of chairs. And we thought we completely misunderstood what that meant. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I wanted to share. I wanted to share something because I, I have to. I have to leave. It's not regarding the topic you're talking right now. Okay. Sure. So I. I am. I'm a mom, and mm. I'm a designer. And my husband, he's a developer. He's here as well. And every year we try to come to WordCamp Europe. I didn't go last year because tickets were really, really expensive. But the year before, we we try, ma managed to come. And the thing is, we, we can come, both of us, because we bring the kids. Since yeah. I was pregnant and the girl, the, my, my kids were tiny, tiny, and in Paris, we brought them. And daycare was always really cool, and they ma allow us to bring, to come. Yeah. And this year, it, it was, it's, not, it's not being so cool, because they, they closed the daycare at 5 o'clock, so yesterday when I went to bring them a snack between talks, the girl said, no, we're closing. Like in 10 minutes, we're going to close. I say, but we still have talks. So I, I, I brought my kids here because I knew somebody was going to take care of them. So no, mm -hmm. it's closing at 5. So you have to take your kids. So what's, the, what's the point in having the daycare for them to you know, entertain mm -hmm. kids while we are at these at talks? Yeah, at talks? And they don't go until the end mm -hmm. of the, the talks. So, and um, <coughs> this year, there's only one room uh -huh. and looks like, I, I know it's difficult to take care of kids, but you've got little babies playing with really older kids and it's boring for the older kids and the, the small ones and they're all in the same room. And other years, they managed to do this a little yeah. bit better. When it was in Porto, it was really cool. They had like a gaming room for older kids and they had uh, another, well, depending on the space you have. Mm. But it also goes a long way with the people that are taking care of kids, if they are um, used to taking care of kids or not. Because mm -hmm. if I ask my dad to take care of my kids, he won't, right? And if you have a person that is skilled and knows how to entertain a kid, according to their age yeah. and make games is different. So mm -hmm. my kid this time, he wants to come and hear the talks because he <laughs> feels it's more interesting than staying there and playing games. So yeah. this year, like it's their feedback that I'm trying to give yes, and yes. I'm able to come because I can bring them with me and I know they're gonna be well the whole day and don't, I don't have to worry with them. Mm -hmm. This year, I have to constant worry about are they okay? And he's like, Mom, I don't want to stay here. I want to leave. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, because I, I feel that uh, it's really cool that the only conference I can come to and bring my kids is this one, WordPress. So anyway, thank you very much. No. This year was not so cool, but I still thank you for allowing me to come. Thank you so much, and we hear you. Actually, um, one part of the community team that we do is the kids' workshop, but uh, for daycare, um, definitely it's a, it's another team. But obviously, we work all together, and I can and definitely um, hear the the yeah. take care of my kids, they entertain them, and they have a wonderful time, just as wonderful as I do. Mm -hmm. This year, it, like, I talked too much. I, I spoke so well about it. <laughs> it didn't go so well. But um, thank you anyway. Yep. Definitely, it's not going to be like a, just a hearing you out right now. Again, uh, what, ha what is received here uh, is going to the main feedback, because we are, as organizers, we are going to leave all of the information. Actually, we are working on organizer handbook uh, for the committee team. And that is going to be the guiding principle for the coming years to make sure that we don't forget every single bit of feedback. Yeah. <laughs> that is very well noted. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. So um, unfortunately, we will have to um, end the session, but I encourage each and everyone who has been here, who who is here, and who who is just arriving. Uh, so sorry. Um, uh, to uh, please reach out uh, to us. I mean, even after the session, you have something that you have in mind that you forgot to share with me, you forgot to share with us. Please, please, um, we have the contact form or the feedback form, uh, and even the survey. I think that will be sent after WordCamp Europe. I encourage, if you have time to spare, to to detail it, um, and um, all together we can, you know, um, have the next year be better. And I hope you still stick around. Um, Matt will be having his closing remarks, I think, uh, in a bit, and also. They will be announcing the next host city, but I'm not going to tell it to you. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for joining.